Fox speaking. So I just had a... I have to record everything. Ugh, because I have to write about it too. So I can start making a book, but... I just had... Sorry, my heart is actually... I mean, these berries, because my heart is... I don't think it's necessarily a heart condition as much as it's like... My heart's opening. And I've been like feeling it. And since like my heart area has been opening so much, it hurts. It almost feels like dying. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is horrible. This is a horrible experience. But I just had a mushroom trip, dairy mushroom trip, because dairy delight, some sort of sap. Mushrooms, ah, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm still kind of like, man, I'm tired. Mixed with some ayahuasca like on top and it was like a really profound experience and it's like my life is like coming together it's like a book I like it sometimes I just feel like my whole my whole world is like a storybook and sometimes I can predict what's about to happen as I turn the page and then I start seeing how things like play together like it's so indescribable. I say the rest of like the little mushroom residues. I'm not sure if I'm on a trip again here, but I figured why not? If it happens, it happens. I guess before I get into like the deep shit about my friend who came over, Odin, I want to like talk about the fun stuff before I start going on about possible future. Because I've been kind of in denial, even though, like, I see it and I'm like, I think, I think this is the person that my friend talked about. And I'm like, no, no, it can't be. Uh, I'm rambling because I'm still kind of, like, in astonishment. This tree is amazing. All right, so we took some mushrooms. I might have to recall back. Not that far back, but we took mushrooms. We brought the instruments. We played out here. And we were just enjoying ourselves, and then that's when the mushrooms started hitting. And then we went to the tree. And this tree is actually very much so magical. Like, this is the most magical tree in this whole fucking place. Like, it is this tree right here. So it was like breathing, and I was like, we have to like go up in the tree. And that's exactly what we did. We both like went up in the tree, and my friend Odin, he's just. He's gorgeous like this guy is insanely beautiful like he's kind of like androgynous beautiful like he he's beautiful as a man but he would be fucking hot as a woman like that kind of like gorgeous kind of like you know and I've always felt that about him I was just like you're just an amazingly beautiful person so we're up here and I'm definitely staring at him like is that like a helicopter yeah Oh, even before the tree, we were like just laying under here. Sorry, I'm 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 everywhere because I'm still. But the sky, like, was the clouds were like moving, and what we saw in the clouds, it was a phoenix. So the clouds started forming into this like beautiful white phoenix, and like they're like the clouds were moving in striations and everything. And as we mentioned, it was a phoenix. It started to like come closer and like look more phoenix-like, and then. I saw also a white dragon and I was like that is gorgeous and like then I could see like the skeletal structure of like the dragon and its wings and it was just it was so amazing like it's like the clouds like were listening to us and then we we're in the tree and I had this like bonding moment with the tree so not only does this like tree right here it had this like amazing like beautiful like weird like elk like face or something I'm like right here I'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's like an elk and I like clung to it right here like a monkey and I'm like I got it because usually I've tried to climb this tree and I failed at climbing it's just like yeah this is not happening on the mushrooms I was like I'm a fucking monkey and I did it and I got up in the tree and it was like a whole nother world up there like it was like a like the tree had its own universe up in this tree and like 
I, I can't even like I, I wasn't even like talking <laughs> I was really more so just feeling it and there was a pulse like so the tree was like moving and I guess this must be like the ayahuasca mixed in with the shrooms so we're getting like a more because I hear like there's more of a connection with the plants and nature but I was just like feeling it and there was like a pulse like in here and I was like it's like holy shit there's a fucking pulse in this tree like it was it was breathing and moving and I could feel like right now it's not talking to me <laughs> it's like you're putting me on camera I know I'm talking about you we had a moment a very very intimate moment so there's an intimate moment with the tree and I'm just like, ah. and so then we jumped down and I was like well fuck I don't want to uh, just you know be out here alone like Articus needs to enjoy all this beautiful like weather because this is just gorgeous out here so we got the Articus and I had him attached like my leash attached to my hips and then I'm crawling around on the ground. I'm pretty sure if anyone saw me, they were probably like, what the fuck is this chick doing? Like, is the dog leading? Like, is she leading the dog or is the dog leading her? Like, cause there, it was, it was a sight to see. So like, I'm on the ground and I'm like sniffing at things. Like he's sniffing and I'm like, what is it? What? I'm trying to understand you. Like, what are you so excited about? And usually my dog, he like, <laughs> usually my dog like pushes me and he's always like, just like, fuck you, you know, I'm gonna, like, take the lead, but when I got on the ground, on all fours with him, and I was just, like, going, and like, walking around sniffing things with him, he, he did his business, which is, like, peeing and everything. Beautiful. Isn't it? Absolutely. But then all of a sudden, like, the dog and I, like, had this moment, and we were, like, bonding. And instead of, like, always, like, pulling and pulling, because he's a husky, he loves to pull, he just actually sat with us over here and chilled. Like, I've never seen my dog, like, just be so content. Usually when I get outside, he's like, his energy's crazy. But this time, he like, his energy was so amazing. And I was like, this is incredible. Like, my dog, I guess, like, was feeling our energy. We were feeling him. But his demeanor changed. And he was just having fun. Like, he wasn't trying to run away from us or anything. He was just in the moment having fun with us. And my dog's pure white, like beautiful husky. So when I saw him like in the sunlight, he had like this crazy aura coming off of him. Like every hair had a gorgeous like rainbow. So he has this like beautiful, oh man, I'm starting to run out of uh, space here. <laughs>